In the part one of our endocrine system module one, we studied what is the endocrine system, how it functions, and what are the different organs or glands which is present in the human body under the endocrine system. Now in this part two video, we will going to study each one of glands in details that how they are placed in a human body and what are their functions. Very first gland, which is hypothalamus gland. This hypothalamus gland is a very small organ which is situated in the brain region of a human body below the thalamus and it controls the secretion of a pituitary gland. Hypothalamus is also attached with a pituitary gland by a very small stalk which is called as an infundibulum and these in result considered as a connecting link between the endocrine system and a nervous system. So hypothalamus is attached with the pituitary glands via a very small stalk and this stalk is called as an infundibulum and this infundibulum is a connecting link between the endocrine system and a nervous system. This hypothalamus is present below the thalamus and it is a very small organ. The hormones which is produces in the hypothalamus are called as inhibitory hormones or a releasing hormones where the endocrine system starts. The next gland is called as a pineal body now or a pineal gland so the pineal gland is located below the corpus callosum which is the middle of the brain it produces the hormones melatonin and melatonin helps the body to know when it's time to sleep now after the hypothalamus and pineal gland which is situated at the brain region of a human body the next gland which is there located in the brain region is called as a pituitary glands so these pituitary glands is a small p-shaped organs and it is above about 1 to 1.5 centimeters in a diameter this is a very little glands is only about the size of a pea but it has a very big job the functions of the pituitary glands is very important the pituitary glands is located below the hypothalamus and it is located at the base of your brain. The hormones which produces by the pituitary glands will affect the growth and reproduction. They can also control the function of the endocrine glands. Examples are the thyroid glands, adrenal glands, ovaries and testicles. So basically the functions of pituitary glands is to secrete the hormones and these hormones will in result going to produce and affect the growth and reproductions and it also controls the functions of other gland which is there in an endocrine system. In the brain region of the human body, the very three important glands which is a part of an endocrine system is hypothalamus, pineal body and a pituitary glands. Now we will move forward and see the other glands which is present in the different locations of a human body and these glands are also a part of an endocrine system. At the neck region, the very two important glands which is present are called as a thyroid glands and parathyroid glands. Thyroid glands are located at the neck region of a human body. It is a bilobed structure that looks like a butterfly. If you can see in the diagram, the thyroid glands look like a butterfly and they are two lobed structure. Hence, it is called as a bilobed. It is situated just below the larynx and it is attached to the trachea in front of the neck. It is the largest endocrine gland. So remember the thyroid gland is referred as a largest organ or largest gland of an endocrine system. The hormones which is secreted by the thyroid gland is called as the thyroxine hormones and calcitonin hormones which will help you 
and it is responsible for your metabolism like how your body uses the energy now the next gland is called as a parathyroid gland parathyroid gland occurs as a four small glands embedded into the posterior side of either lobe of thyroid glands if you can see in the diagram frontal view and back view of a thyroid gland so in the back view if you can see the four circles at the four corners these are the four lobes of parathyroid glands which is there at a posterior side of a thyroid glands all the four glands functions as a unit and it produces a parathyroid hormone that targets the cells of the bones and kidneys so the parathyroid glands are four lobe structure and all the four lobe structures they are togetherly togetherly produce the hormones which is called as a parathyroid hormones and these parathyroid hormones functions and targets the cells of bones and kidneys the main primary functions of the parathyroid hormones is to regulate the level of calcium magnesium phosphate in the blood so these are the two different glands which is present at the neck region of a human body and these thyroid glands and parathyroid glands are the part of a endocrine system after the thyroid and parathyroid gland which is located at the neck region the next gland is called as a thymus gland the thymus gland is located nearer to the heart it is a pinkish gland which is situated nearer to the heart and its size is bigger during the puberty while its size contradicts and it reduces in the old age so the thymus gland is only active until your puberty level after the puberty the slowly slowly size of the thymus will shrink and it will eventually replaced with the fats the functions of the thymus gland it will secretes the hormone which is called as a thymosin hormone this thymosin helps in the formation of lymphocytes lymphocytes which is also referred or called as a wbcs white blood cells that helps to fight the infection or it will boost your immunity so thymus gland is present nearer to the heart region below the neck it is a pinkish gland which is situated near the heart and the size is bigger of the thymus gland till the puberty level after the puberty as soon as the age will become older the size of the thymus gland will shrink and reduce and the, then it is replaced by the fat thymus will produces and secretes the hormone thymosin which is helping the formation of lymphocytes white blood cells and white blood cells the main function is to fight with the infection and boost the immunity in a human body